Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Bowser Jr.'s journey. In the last episode, we started our journey with Bowser Jr. I think at the end of last episode, I actually called it Bowser Jr.'s story. Not what I meant to do, but it looks like we're making our way into the second world now where uh, you can now enhance your troopers. If you acquire beans or items in battle, try using them on a trooper that you want to improve. All right, sure, let's give this a shot. So we go to our items, and we have a melee experience bean S. A bean that gives 10 experience to melee troopers. Effect is halved if eaten by other unit types. We definitely wanna use this on a melee trooper. So I'm thinking we wanna keep these maybe to, like, I mean, there's always good options, but I think we wanna use it for the Koopalings, because they're definitely worth our while. So I've really liked Roy, because while, because it seems like he has overall better stats, he has better health and power than, like, Morton. But of course, Morn has much more spirit. We'll go ahead and just level up Roy, though. Then we also have a flying experience bean. Um, well, I guess it doesn't level them up, it just gives them more experience. Definitely to Iggy, for now. Um, and then we have a ranged one. I've been really liking Larry. It looks like Wendy has more power. Who is closer to level up? Definitely Larry, so we'll go ahead and give this to him, and he'll level up to level six, that's pretty good. Um, we have an experienced drumstick, a drumstick that gives uh, that gives 10 experience to Bowser Jr. cannot be given to other characters. So we might as well just give this to Bowser Jr. then. And now he's only at one experience away from the level up defense bean and bean that increases your defense by one. You can't give these to Bowser Jr. then. So who do we want the up to up the defense by? I'm thinking we should already do it to characters that have powerful stats, you know, just might as well push him even farther. So like, if Bowser, not Bowser, Morton here has tough defense, might as well give him some even tougher defense. Uh, we have a spirit bean which will increase the spirit. I wanna do that for Roy, or maybe Ludwig. I feel like Ludwig deserves some better stats here. I didn't even see him down there. Um, yeah, sure, why not? There we go. Um, and then the charred spicy drums, like a charred drumstick from Morton. It tastes pretty gross, so I guess we can't do that just yet. Um, so yeah, with all that being said, we are good to move on to the next area because we've already completed everything here in Bowser Castle East. So going through the pipe, we're going to world number two. Uh, it is Dimblewood. All right, very cool. So what's going on here? I don't know. Uh, so here's Bowser Jr. The forest's biggest carrot! It will be mine, I swear it! Oh, I get it. Oh, here comes Bowser, or at least we can hear him. Uh-oh. Huh? Dad? Yikes! Oh gosh, is he gonna get eaten up by Bowser too? Run right away, Bowser Jr., run right away! <laughs> That'd be so weird. I don't think it's gonna happen. Ooh, he just barely was able to hold on. What was that crazy wind all about? What's going on here? <laughs> Young master, who's this? Is it Kamek? Ugh, now what? Oh great, now Kamek is gonna talk my ears off. Yep, it's Kamek. Oh, oh, and all the Koopalings. Well, except for, for Lemmy, <laughs> my favorite one. So Lord Bowser ate a weird mushroom and is now inhaling everything in sight. Correct, he was tricked by a strange entity with even stranger speaking tendencies. After he ate it, he started inhaling anything and anyone in the vicinity, truly terrifying. That's why I uh, immediately evacuated in search of help. It was a selfless act of heroism. Whatever, dude, where's dad now? Lord Bowser is somewhere. That much is certain, but I have no idea where. Figures, I almost never know where dad is. I'm basically a latchkey Koopa, what does that mean? Yes, well, his busyness is very busy. What is Ludwig up to? Talking to the rest of the Koopalings. You lot, I'm leaving the young master in your care while I seek Bowser. Is something the matter? <laughs> now nah, we're good, now scram. Rude, are you sure you're all right? Oh, forget it, I've really got to get going. All right, see you, Kamek. Have fun. Oh, he's just shoving his way through. <laughs> They're not even gonna say anything about it? I guess not. Oh my gosh, Bowser Jr. does not have any manners. Which is weird, because we've experienced in uh, Bowser's Inside Story, Bowser has a surprisingly good amount of manners. Anyways, as you can see here, we have our first level, which is Dimblewood, Trevil Tidings. Um, and it looks like we have a melee unit and a ranged unit, so let's take a look at the details of this. Our melee unit, of course, is the Koopa Trooper Green with Mega Tackle, don't trust these innocent eyes. Yeah, we've read about that. Uh, we can get bony enemies, which we don't have any of those just yet, but maybe soon we can get some dry bones, that'd be pretty cool. 
And moving over this way, we have Treeville with Reign of Pain. Trees that lived for hundreds of years until they became monstrous. As they were withering, they burn easily when attacked with fire. So that could be a good thing to keep in mind. Attack with fire while we have the chance. And also you can look at the details on the bottom screen. It looks like they have melee out first and then a bunch of range. So knowing that, we probably should use a lot of flying units. Well, no, not too many flying units. I mean, they'd be good against like the melee, but then the ranged after that's a bit of a problem. So, I think maybe like ranged in the back, or not, or flying in the back, and then have some ranged, well, no. Oh man, this is so tough. This is where it gets more difficult, right? <laughs> like, because I would love to put flying in the front, but they would get absolutely destroyed by all the ranged units. So it might just be good to war along with them with some ranged units, but mm, it might just be good to have some melee out in front too. So let's go to our squad formation and maybe just meet up with everything. So let's go ahead and change our position. Can I, can, I wanna unequip everybody. Guess I can't do that here. Um, so let me see what other options we have. Like we have our melee type number one. And I'll probably move some things around. Like if I could use Morton and Roy up there, that'd be good. Like even this seems pretty decent actually, because like they don't, they don't have any flying, so it really isn't worth us to have worth it for us to have range. The only thing I would change here maybe is Oh, there's so many options. Um Hmm. Like maybe have Iggy here? That wouldn't be too bad, right? Looking at the me other melee units. Why are these two separated? Is there a way to organize this? Oh, sort, right here. By type. There we go. That makes it a little easier to see. We don't have really any triple matchups for the melee except for the Mecha Koopas, which is fine because Mecha Koopas are actually quite high level compared to most of the other stuff. So we'll try this out. This might go really bad. This is where you know my ineffectiveness of strategy games might start to show. We'll have to wait and see. Um, all right then, but we do have Rally, we do have Deny, and oh my, here's uh, Larry and Wendy. Lord Junior, check this out. Oh yeah, I forgot to use units to have fire. Ha, huh, nice one, Larry. I think that was a critical hit. You can get more critical hits against enemy types that you're strong against. It's all about the, ma the matchup, so be sure to check out the enemy profiles to plan your attack. To do that, just open up the formation menu and tap an enemy's profile, easy. So I can set up a formation that gives me the advantage and it's not considered cheating? Ha, huh, suckers, they're making it too easy for me. Oh, and I think I already read your profile, Wendy. It says, gets angry at the drop of a hat. Oh, I know Roy hasn't been messing with my profile again. Ha, he's not wrong. Oh, that was Roy. Ha, he's not wrong. Oh boy. So we probably should change things up if this doesn't work out. Maybe get Larry out here, because I guess he does have that fire attack. I don't know who we have that actually has fire attack, so we just sort of have to look for it. Oh, deny it. Ah, oh, I was way too late, I forgot the buttons. So Roy's immediately getting beat up by three Koopas, which is not good. But he's charging back into action, though. Come on, now. I mean, I guess if we wanted to, if this doesn't work, we could just try all melee, because at that point, our units wouldn't have a weakness, which could be pretty good. Like, maybe using flying was just a mistake in general. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, we have two rows of enemies to get through. We do have the severe lead here, though, which is good. All right, success successfully denied one of them. And the other one is going to throw something. Oh, poor, poor Iggy there got a little beat up. We still had quite a lot of those guys taken out before we really lost too much. Okay, so we're back at the four CP. This is where we're gonna wanna focus. And this one only has two melee units, so. Oh, what are they doing? They're rallying. Should we rally right back? I think so, now's a good time to rally. Come on, get fired up! So let's see if this works out. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I should've denied that, shouldn't I have? Maybe I should save on to it, you never know. Ah, oh, he denied me though, come on. Well, you can't deny this, can you? Very good, hard to see what he's even hitting there. Deny it, that was a good one to deny, because there were so many of them lined up. We denied four of them and there's still two attacking. See, we're gonna have a six unit uh, combo there, like that's insane. So far we are winning, but just barely. I don't have any denies left, but I think it was well worth denying. So we are in the lead, especially with uh, Roy and Morton. Uh, oh, there he goes! Winning against the captain back there, very good. So we were able to make it work, which is always nice to see. And a bunch of Koopas come back. We cleared the stage, very nice. Oh, and we get an extra Koopa there. 
<laughs> Guessing that's the unit we unlocked. Hopefully we unlock some of those trees, but we'll have to wait and see. The forest, biggest carrot, it will be mine, I swear it. <laughs> oh, it's Fawful. The timing is now, Midbus. <laughs> Lord Fawful. How waitings are at an end. Bowser seeks the castle of Peach and Fawful seeks him. We must tempt him with the tastiness of jackpotting a lucky shroom. Everything is ready. Dieter. Oh, is it dieter? Like dieting? Probably. That is me, yes. Everything is under control and very efficient. Bowser's castle is as good as yours. Let, let me tell you some of the brags I've been saving in my head. You can always count on the best fitness friends when you are needing needing the muscle. Soon all of the minions will be eating organic whey protein from the palm of your hand. Oh, Fawful will be feeding them, oh yes! And he will be feeding you, you the shiniest of gold coins if you're working fast. Yes, sir, or yes, we have a great appetite for your coin givings, Lord Fawful. And no one is faster. You will not find f f faster fitness friends. I see you are already in possession of much slower ones. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, the slow piggy heard me. How will I ever escape his thundering slowness? Midbus, make with the hurrying. Poor Midna, Midbus keeps on getting like taunted. You see, or was that too fast for you, Toodles? What a not nice guy. I'm not that slow. <laughs> All right, well, there we go, we win, and that's gonna be a level up for just about everybody except for Morton. Very good, we get a range, experience bean, we get another Koopa Troopa, and is that it? Only one Koopa Troopa, that's fine. We now have three Koopa Troopas, which could be pretty good. What's going up on up here, Dimblewood, Ludwig's Hunch. Okay, let's take a look at the details for this one. We have three new opponents this time. We have the pair of Biddy Bud, red, red Biddy Buds that fly through the air. When they see a Fawful Copter, they can't help but dive attack. A Fawful Copter, so we gotta be careful of Fawful Copters, we don't have any of those. I don't think there's any way we could get those because they seem to be Fawful things, right? That'd be a weird idea. Okay, and then we also have Super Stomp. Can we take a look at their moves? I guess not, we don't really get a description of what Super Stomp is. Parabitty Bud Green, green Parabitty Buds that fly through the air, their specialty is Stomp, so they don't really have anything specifically weakness or, you know, abilities, okay. Uh, moving on over here, we got the Fire Stalking Piranha Plant, Spitfire Fury. The fire it spits works well against plant-like enemies. It just has to remember not to burn itself. Okay, so we probably wanna avoid plant-like enemies. So a lot of flying out in front with some ranged and some more flying. So we probably definitely wanna get a lot of ranged in here, a lot of it, and maybe a little bit of melee. Let's go to our squad formation. Um, and I'm thinking we will go to flying type, or no, range type, just like this. And this already looks pretty good. I mean, we could try something like this, because that way we don't really have any kind of, I mean, we do have some weaknesses, but it might work out. And the hammer bros are super duper good, so like it could end up working out this way. Hmm. I'm just looking around, what other units might we be able to utilize? Like it might be actually good to put Wendy over Ludwig. I don't know why he's down there. Sort by type. Yeah, okay, there we go. I did that before and it didn't work for him. He was still up there. Weird. That might actually end up being better just because she's a higher level. So let's go ahead and confirm this. We also haven't used Wendy so far in the game. So let's give it a shot and see what ends up happening. We get the speed up 5%, which could be a little bit useful. I feel like extra speed is one of the most important stats just because we want to get to the enemy before they get to us. Having that leg up really changes everything. Hmm, I can't shake the feeling that someone's following us. Maybe it's the rest of the Koopalings? I don't know. Maybe it's just my imagination. Hey, what's the hold up back there? <laughs> oh, here comes Ludwig. So what is going on now, just taking on these enemies? So we might be being followed. I mean, the level is called Ludwig's Hunch. Let's go, formation bubble. Oh, there we go, we got it. All right, so here are all the bitty buds. And hopefully we do well. It's only two battles, so we should be okay overall. Oh, I pressed the wrong stinking button. I don't know why I do that, I don't, I'm just not really good at the game, I gotta be honest. I'll keep trying though. I mean, I guess we don't have any melee units, so that's sort of our problem with these ranged, but I think that we can still beat them down with the fellow ranged units. That's sort of the hope here. 
it's sort of working out. They, they are sort of fighting back, actually, right now. So that's a little bit of a worry. We might actually have to go back to the drawing board and add some melee. Come on, Wendy. Ooh, this is scary. Oh, no. But Bowser Jr. is melee, so he should be able to, at the least, that was badly timed. His timing is a little bit different than his dad's with his punches and stuff, or even just Mario and Luigi with their hammers. This is where it becomes a problem, though, because I don't even know if, even know if he can really damage the pair of Bitty Bud too much, because flying is better than melee. So we'll try this. Mm, yeah, we're about to get taken out, which is fine. It's our first time ever getting taken out. It's gonna happen sooner or later, so we do need more melee. Uh, range troopers are strong against flying enemies, so be sure to add some to your squad. Also, you might want to use a few melee troopers in the back of your formation to count the enemy's range types. Yeah, so we wanna, like, that's sort of the weird balance you gotta start to make, right? Is because you want to be able to, uh, take advantage of the weaknesses, but you don't want the other units taking out your weakness advantages before they even get to do their thing. And that's where it just becomes this crazy juggling act. But I can definitely see how we can match with the squad formation, maybe get rid of the, of the uh, hammer bros. Hold on, wrong thing. I just want these guys gone. Okay, never mind. we'll just do it this way. Um, and we could just get some of these guys out here and see how that ends up working. Uh, name of your changes will be saved? No. Wait, what, what do you mean, name of my changes? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's in none. I don't know, sometimes the text is hard to read. It's so tiny. Okay, let's get back to it. And, let's go. I think this will be a little bit better. Battle one, let's get to it. Because we got the range out in front, but what I don't like is that Morton and Roy I mean, I guess they do sort of prior towards the melee or the range a little bit, which is good. Deny that. Okay, we denied two out of the three. That's pretty good. So right now, they're still taking advantage now. Right now, okay, now we're 64. Whenever Morton does his move, that's always really good. And now we've actually made it to the pair of Bitty Buds a little bit. Wendy has to beat up on them. Ooh, I don't know if it was worth doing the deny. But this is where things get a little nasty, but I think we've won. Yeah, it's looking like it. We have all these advantages. No, Shy Guy. Come on, throw more turnips. Throw more turnips, you got it. A couple more, maybe? Don't beat up the shy guy. We really need you to not beat up the shy guy. Why are you so good? Deny it. I know I'm like totally out of energy now. Come on, really? I don't like that. No, I can't deny it. I need some energy for next time. So that hurts, but as long as you can land one more hit on him, that's it. Okay, perfect. I think we can survive this next one a little bit better. We'll have to wait and see them. And if I have enough energy, I need to use it for a rally. And there's a pair of bitty, but if we win this, we get that, that'd be good. There is more, ah oh man, there's more flying here. I don't know, it's tough to say. Let's rally now, I think now's a good time to. Come on, get fired up. And then, ooh. That seemed like it was okay. Oh, they're doing another one? Ooh, two for one deal. There we go, boom. That was really good. I'm just trying to damage that dude as much as we can. Got it, ooh, that even hit the guys in the back of him. Okay, so so far it's seven to five, which is pretty gosh darn good advantages, and she's just attacking a lot. Ooh, ho, 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 nice job, very good. So we got him. We even got a couple new units there, at least one pair of Biddy Bud, which is good. Maybe more? No, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, there was a Piranha Pun as well. So, where are you guys going? He still thinks we're being followed. Spill it, Ludwig, what's going on? I feel like we're being followed, and I'm worried there, that something's wrong back at the castle. Why would you think that? Besides, we left Lemmy back there. He can manage a few blorbed Goombas, can't he? I don't know, <laughs> Lemmy's a little wild. Yeah, well, it's just a feeling. I also like. I feel like we're being watched, like, right now. You sure you're feeling okay? You're not about to blurb out on us, out on us, are you? Have you really funny? <laughs> no, no, it's probably nothing. Still, let me just check something out. The kid's your responsibility until I return. What? No, that's totally not okay. Who knows, maybe he'll actually listen to you. I knew it! Relax, watching Junior is easy-ish. Oh, that is, this is not happening. Ludwig, Ludwig, I know you can hear me! <laughs> oh my. 
Because look, look how he left our squad. Oh no! So I can't use him in battles. I mean, I guess, I guess I've been using Wendy anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> So we got a flying experience bean, and we got an XP drumstick for Bowser Jr., which will be good. We got the Para Biddy Bud Red, which we read about this. They don't like the Fawful Copters. We also have this, which is good against plant-like enemies. So if we do find more Piranha Plants, definitely get this one into the party, but it might damage itself in the meantime, so it is a little bit risky. But okay, now we have this one. Even though he ditched me, Ludwig may have a point. Something's not right around here. So I guess since I'm in charge, I should probably teach you about first officers. First, tap open the formation menu. Okay. Now, us Koopalings are your support. Tap X to begin adjusting your formation. Okay. See this empty slot? You can put a first officer here. Why don't you try putting me in that spot? Okay. That's more like it. By the way, you can only assign one of us Koopalings as your first officer. Okay, go ahead and tap X again to go back to the menu. Ooh, rings leader. Now see this, that's a first officer skill. It's, uh, it'll change depending on who you've got as your first officer. As much as I like being first officer, you should try out the other Koopalings too. You might find that you could use a particular skill against a tricky enemy captain. Oh, and there's just one more thing. If you want to start all over from scratch, tap L and R at the same time. Ooh, that'll be helpful. That'll clear your formation block to the default. All right, let's get moving. So the rings leader gives power 10% up and spirit 10% up. That's really good, actually. Um, a new entry was added to the formation menu guide. So that's some good ben benefits right there. I like them. Um, and yeah, for right now, we're gonna continue with that because I don't know what we're going against. A touch of terror. So taking a look at the details of this one, it has melee and flying, so we probably want to have some range, but also some melee. Yeah, this seems like it's gonna be about good. So maybe melee in front and then some range in the middle. I think that would be a good idea, just to hold off the fellow melee fighters. I mean, both times it's a, I mean, maybe we could have some flying, I don't know, it's like, it's always so hard for me to decide these things. I never know, because it's like, ah, I don't know. It always seems to be good to have a balance of everything, right? Um, so for right now, I'm just gonna leave the squad formation how it is, because I wanna check out the the items real fast and see if we can't get some stuff. First off, Flying Bean, I wanna go ahead and give that to, once again, um, Iggy. Make sure he is as powerful as possible. Get a Range be Experience Bean as well. Uh, let me sort everything by type real fast. That's still not correct. I want everything to be... That's not right, I want, oh, because these ones are equipped, got you. Okay, then let me, before I do anything else, let's go to our squad formation. Yeah, there we go. Um, and with that, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out the items, because I wanna be able to see everybody properly. It's sort of weird how it has to be that way. So, I have this range bean, I think I wanna go ahead, I could either give it to Wendy or Larry. I really like Wendy's ability, so I'm gonna give it to Wendy a little bit. She did level up too, with the experience drumstick as, of course, for Bowser Jr., which actually will give him a level up, which is really nice. We need him to be as high leveled as possible, so that's good to see. So let's start figuring out our squad formation. I'm gonna take one last look at this. As you would think then, like it might be good to have flying out in front, which I guess wouldn't be that big of an idea, or a bad idea. And then after that, have a row of ranged. Yeah. And then maybe some melee in the back? I mean, I don't know if the melee would help too much. I guess not. So, yeah, if we need, if there's, whew, <laughs> there's so many options. Let's see what uh, Iggy does in the command slot right here. All stats up 5%. That's pretty good. And then, like I said, we got level seven Koopa Paratroopas. I need to be able to do something like this. And then maybe after that, because we have one, two, three, four, we're up to nine. Yeah, okay, this is on the bottom left there, four out of nine. So now we wanted to do, after that, some ranged. I mean, I want to be able to do something like this, but I don't know if that's the best idea. I mean, we could also do this. And this is a ultra C formation, evasion 5%. Interesting. If I change the positions, I could do something like this. I don't know if that makes it like a formation of any sort. It does, okay, that's a, that's also evasion 5%. I feel like that might actually be better though. So we're gonna go with this one and give it a shot. I don't know if this will turn out okay. I feel like maybe I need more flying. I mean, I don't know if I need a lot of flying units. There aren't too many melee units. Okay, that's a lot more Koopalings. 
They're here, the minions have arrived. Or maybe that was a shy guess, I don't know. Stop right there, you, that's far enough. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Take this and that. Oh my. So the shy guys are attacking, these ones are probably hypnotized by Fawful. <laughs> Let's go. So all stats up 5%. Let's go, formation pipe. Formation 5%, that could be very useful. Ooh, these are a lot, I never read the description for these guys, probably should have done that. Whoopsies. Okay, so that might be a bit of a problem, we'll have to keep it in mind, but for right now, everybody's attacking, we wanna deny those guys to start things off. Successful, successfully denied one of them. Like little shoes, weird. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. We still have a big thing. That's good. And right there, that was okay. Maybe I should have put those in the Fawful Drones. Should I deny that? Oh, it was too late anyway, so it was a waste. Gosh darn, I need to be faster. But we're definitely in the lead here, it's eight to two. So, so far, so good with this plan. I like it. Come on, keep attacking, guys. Everyone just sort of standing there. Come on, a little bit more. One more attack on this boot, and we're, we're good. There it is. We weren't able to take out all of the enemies. That's fine. So I'll have to read up on all these different units, for sure. So some CP has, been, CP has been restored. Got lots more enemies here, so I think we'll go ahead and rally right away and sort of see what we can end up doing here. Come on, get fired up! And here we go, here we go. Nice, okay. So we got the double excellent there. No, come on, Larry was denied there. But these guys are not. Oh, that was a really bad throw. Then That only hit that one, dude. That stunk. Mystery box, ooh, we haven't seen this since the last one. Uh, Super, uh, Bowser's minions. Oh, they got accuracy up. Hmm. That's a little bit of a problem. It's currently nine to seven now. Ooh, Larry's gonna do something. Got it, ooh, that guy's gone. Can I deny it? I denied it, that was the captain too, so always good to see. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. Also, if we could take care of this drone first. Got it, and got it. Now we just gotta get rid of the captain, we'll get the full bonus for it, the 5% extra experience. Critical and everything! Good job, Larry! Defeated all nine enemies, post-battle experience increased by 5%. Awesome. So we're doing pretty well so far, if you ask me. Level cleared and everything and we get a flying shy guy as a unit, that's pretty cool. Okay. Ha, 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 wait, where am I? Oh, what an honor, Lord Junior, hello. <laughs> hey, what, are you nuts or what? You were just babbling, barking commands at us, where, like we had to take you, and we had to take you down like a couple of pegs. <laughs> Don't act like you're, you were still practicing, I could tell you you were trying hard. We attacked you just now? That is strange, I don't remember that at all. Please believe me. We were just patrolling the forest as usual and then we saw young Bowser, Master Bowser and well, some of the guys wanted his autograph. Yeah, yeah right. Did you hit your head, honey? <laughs> you think all of these losers hit their heads at the same time? I really can't remember a thing. I'm sorry, Master, forgive me, mistress. Hey, I'm bored again, let's go. Maybe they were like hypnotized or something. I mean, just kidding, guys. <laughs> well, something's fishy is going on, and I don't like the smell of it. Ludwig was feeling the same way right before he ran off to who knows where. But if you ask me, you guys are losing it. Roy, did you not hear me? I'm bored. Hurry up! Oh, for crying out loud! You hear the kid, or you heard the kid. Let's get going. A lot of family drama going on between the Koopalings, I can tell you that much. We get some experience for everybody, and a level up for most. We get a melee experience being pretty good, and then we get a fly guy. Shy guys who fly gracefully through the sky. Some say they've learned the weakness of the Parabitty Bud, so it's good that we didn't use any of those. Um, but we can use him against some Parabitty Buds if we need to. And um, there's a new thing there, but before I check it out, I wanna check out these guys. So we get the Fawful Copter, who also has Discord, an annoying and loud mechanical monster, rumored to be the weak against the sound of bat wings. The sound of bat wings, I don't know what that is. And then we also have here the Sock Op. <laughs> they may look cute, but don't let your guard down. They are weak against fire attacks, interesting. So I could have used that and it would have been good. Um, so what is this about? The squad formation is crossed out. Dimblewood, Koopaling, Teamwork. Maybe I can only use Koopalings here. An annoying and loud mechanical monster, of course, 
and then this one attacked with fire. Let's try this out and see what ends up happening. Apparently I can't choose my formation for it. Does that mean it's gonna be a different formation? I don't really know. Hi, Morton. Morton Bartak. Defense 15% up. So yeah, it's just me and Morton. Okay. Sure, let's give this a shot. It's only one battle. So I guess it would just be good to... Morton use first officer command. What's that, big guy? Press L and Morton protect. Or tap screen. Easy for Morton. Ooh, look at this. Okay. So he'll just protect us. Oh, that is so cute. Hey, I can't see anything. Get out of my way. Morton's strong like wall. But even wall fall down sometime. You want Morton to stop being wall, press B. And entry was added to the Brawl Basic Guide, and entry was added to the Brawl Command Guide. Cool. What are you doing? Morton's defes defense increased. All right, so he's just gonna start beating guys up. But now uh, Bowser Jr. can't actually attack. Interesting. Uh, I got this, get out of here. Interesting. Oh, nice lucky hit there. Now let's just rally to get rid of this guy. Come on, get fired up. Ally spirit up, that's good. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 nice stuff there. All right, victory. Very weird, but very cool. And is that it? I think that's it, yep. Cleared. So that hopefully still gave us some extra experience, even though it was like some kind of tutorial. I don't know though. But <laughs> that was way too easy. i am do strong for my own good. It's my pr princely curse. Right, that's definitely a factor. But didn't it also help that Morn stepped in to protect you? Pfft, yeah, right, Morn just got in my way. He's such a glory stealer. Oh, Morton, sorry. Lord Junior, I tried to help. Don't say bad things about Morton. Ooh, blah, blah, blah. Keep your loser problems to yourself and don't talk back to your future king. Yikes. Huh, what's that? Morton, explain yourself before I get any crankier. Oh. Oh, is this Bowser Jr.'s little paint wand? Why do you have my magic brush? <laughs> Lord Jr., Morton forgot to brought this for you. And you waited all this time to give it to me? Are you completely worthless or what? Why are you good, why are good minions so hard to find? Why is he so mean? Sorry again. I gotta find that carrot, so, so big you can't compare it. Uh-oh, what's going on now? <laughs> that kid is getting under my shell. The things I put up with for Lord Bowser. No kidding. <laughs> Yikes. You can now change Bowser Jr. to a range type in the formation menu, interesting. That'll help a lot. Select Bowser and press A to change his type. That will actually really help against some of the flying captains. Okay, so there we go. We get ourselves some extra experience and an experienced drumstick. As I wonder if we get his clown car later on. Maybe we can change him into a, a flying type unit as well. So now we got two levels opened up here. That's pretty good. You can now change Bowser Jr. to a range type formation in the formation menu, yep. Okay, so before we do anything more, I think we should check out the items again. We do have the melee experience being S, and with this one, I could give it to a lot of units, of course, but I think that will go with um, Morton. Which one's closer? Roy is closer, so we'll go ahead and give him one. There we go, gets leveled up to level seven. Roy's CP increased to one, that's good. Um, and then a drumstick that gives 10 experience to Bowser Jr., of course, so we just gotta get to the Bowser Jr. He gets leveled up to level eight. So far, so good with everything. And gotta be honest, so this is um, all three times as the flying captain, so this is definitely the good time to use the, uh, what did I do there? Oh no, okay, never mind. Um, this is definitely a good time to use Bowser Jr as a a flying unit? How do I do that? Oh, range, here we go. So now that I've done that, oh, but that's only for this one, interesting. Oh, now he has a little thing over his face. That's pretty cool, it looks just like Super Mario Sunshine. How cool is that? So I'm gonna go ahead and clear this, um, because once again, it's all about the flying units, right? So I feel like I need to double check the, the combos of everybody, details. So it's all melee in front every single time. So we probably wanna be able to have flying out in front right away. And then beyond that, like we could have some ranged in the background because they all have flying units. I feel like that'd be a good idea. Okay, so we'll go for that. So let's go to our squad formation. Um, flying out in front, so we probably wanna have, we'll probably, yeah, wanna have him. All stats up 5%. Like that seems like a really good bonus, you know? And then, 
I guess we could either have we could have two Koopas, three Boos, something like that. And that already is gonna be seven out of nine. I don't know if that's perfect, but we could try it. What if we did that and then like something like this? What, what, what will this formation be? It is a giant shield formation. Defense up five, five percent. That's that could be pretty good right here. So we can try that out. Because I think that would work. I think so. So we'll give it a shot. We'll see what ends up happening. If if we if we end up messing up really bad, we'll just do it again. That's per usual, right? So let's get back into it. Everybody, bah, let's go. All stats up five percent. And of course, let's go formation giant shield. Pretty gosh darn cool. And we have three battles to get through, so it's gonna be a bit tough. But we have, you know, a good advantage against the melee here. Need to save my rallies for as long as I can. Oh, right there. Boom. Oh, that didn't hit the captain? Ah, oh, that's arguable. That's all I wanted to do there. Yikes, this is actually looking a little scary. They actually have the advantage for right now. Ooh, that was good, that was good. Now we're really taking the advantage. Oh, it's eight to four. It was like nine to four for a second. Seven to three, seven to two. I think we'll be able to get it then. Let's see if we can't take care of that one drone before the captain, that'd be good. Come on, come on, you guys can do it. There we go, perfect. That way we're gonna get the all enemies taken down bonus. Beautiful stuff. So we still had five units in total. Experience increased by 5%. Get everybody back out here. Some CP was restored, didn't even use any, so. Okay, so this one's gonna be a bit more interesting and there's a lot more melee units out in front. I pressed the wrong stinking button again. Because I see an exclamation point, my first reaction is to press the deny button, which obviously didn't do much for us there. Come on, keep going, keep going. We get the first two units taken out. They got some of ours taken out as well. Deny those guys, there we go, that's a much better. Success successfully denied two of them. Can't do much about that. But we are in the lead, but just barely. Ooh, ooh, it's tying up a little bit. I don't like this. Come on, yeah, keep attacking him with your range attacks. Oh, no, he missed. Flying versus flying there, a little awkward. Come on, Bowser Jr. Good job, there it is. I do feel like having somebody in our first command slot, like Iggy is, it does sort of make our team overall a little bit more vulnerable in some ways, just because it seems like all of our troops get taken out faster. So this is a perfect time to go ahead and use a rally, and I'm gonna get to it. All right, everybody, come on, get fired up! And, so I guess like not everybody has a what's it called? Not everybody has a special move, or at least not yet. Like Iggy doesn't seem to have a special move yet, which is interesting. I thought that all of them would, starting from that tutorial. Deny those guys. There we go. That should be pretty decent. We definitely have the lead right now. Our spirit is up a little bit still. Oh, what are you guys doing? Sneak attack. Oh no. Oh no, it's bad. How much damage will that do? Ah, not too much actually. We're fine. We're fine. We still have the lead here, and I think we might be able to keep it. Oh boy, can't deny that, unfortunately. I'm totally out. So what'll that do? Ooh, just, just that one Koopa Paratroopa. That's fine. If we could get rid of this one melee unit, that'd be fantastic, by the way. Yikes. Okay, now this is actually starting to look really worrisome. Oh, come on, don't deny that. Okay, it's two versus two. We technically have the advantage here. Oh, that was only okay. <laughs> but we got rid of them. So now it's two versus one. We should be able to get them then. We haven't seen Bowser Jr.'s special move with the paintbrush. I can't deny it. Oh, well. That's fine, that's fine. Even if her power goes down here, I think we'll be okay. Come on, keep getting him. Oh, a little bit more, a little bit more. Come on, you miss every single time. <laughs> got it, very good. So there we go, we got the victory on the first try. That's always good to see. Everyone's gonna run off with me. We should have gotten a lot of experience for that one, I can only hope. Let's find out after this cutscene. Got carrots on the brain. Your loss will be my gain. Well, where'd everybody go? Got carrots on the brain. Your loss will be my gain. Ah, there aren't any stupid carrots, stupid anywhere. We just got here. Patience is a virtue, honey. Oh, oh, there's a little baby wiggler. Oh, hello there. Are you a fellow veggie lover? It's such a fresh and sustainable love, isn't it? My family has been raising tasty veggies here for generations. Welcome to the Wiggler family farm. Did you say veggies? Carrots are veggies. Show me your carrots, bug brain. Wow, I love your enthusiasm for vegetables. They are exciting, aren't they? Well, if it's fresh, sustainably scrumptious carrots you're after, they're in the field over yonder. 
I don't think you understand. We need the Giga Carrot. Do you have that? Oh joy, you have incredible taste in vegetables. The Giga Carrot is a marvel of agriculture. It's ultra enormous and fabulously farm fresh. Wiggler has been raising that veggie baby for years. You'll find it further back beyond the vegetable field. Oh, how your excitement excites me. It seems our carrot promoting all efforts have not been in vain. They said you'll never get today's youth to eat their own weight in carrots, but look who's laughing. A big carroty laugh now. Ew, no one's talking about eating carrots, bug. I just need to get a carrot to impress my dad. Now, if you've got some hot wings or a nice juicy steak. Oh goodness, no, if only if you only eat meat, your poor body won't get the nutrients it needs. And if you make fun of vegetables, well, I can't vouch for your safety. Yikes, <laughs> the Wiggers will get mad. What a weirdo. No kidding, but for now, let's leave him to his carrot obsession and keep moving. Duh, I was gonna say that, stop trying to take credit. <laughs> well, maybe she, if she said it first, I mean, she thought of it first, what are you talking about? Anyways, lots of level ups there. Iggy learned Super Counter, a command that Iggy can use. He will counter all opponents attacking Bowser Jr. The lower Bowser Jr.'s remaining HP is, the more damage the move will deal. That is really good. Then we also get a Koopa Tra Pe Troopa Red. Don't trust those innocent eyes. The red shells provide a tough defense. Rumored to know Parabitty Bud's weakness. Ooh, okay. So I'll have to keep that in mind for the Parabitty Bud. And yeah, so what's going on up here? We have Dimblewood Farm of Harm. So let's take a look at this one. We have two bear para bitty buds, so that's good for the uh, Koopas. The problem is that they're melee, so you'd think that wouldn't work out, but if it works, it works, I don't care. And then attacked with fire. So maybe maybe we can do red Koopas, and then also do piranha plants. I think that would be a good idea. Okay, so also let's take a look at their formation. So if we want to do that, we want to put the, probably put, I don't know, it's, it's hard to say. Because I look at my, should my, should I utilize the weaknesses or for me? I don't know. I don't know how to word it. <laughs> Anyways, we'll start with the brand new one. Both times the captain is a flying, so I definitely want to do uh, ranged Bowser Jr. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do, game. Uh, ranged, and like I said, in the front, if I sort everything, type, we got two red Koopas. Right there, and right here. And then in the back, what did we want? We wanted the, the Piranha Pelt, which we only have one of, don't we? Ooh, we only have one of him. Do we have anything else that does fire attacks? I mean, Larry does, so that might be good. What if we do like a checkerboard pattern? What would that be like? That doesn't really do too much. I mean, we still haven't filled everything out. Okay, maybe I can make, I mean, what is, that's accuracy 10% and luck 10%. And Wendy was what? Power and spirit. I mean, both of those are good. I mean, I like the all stats at 5% with uh, Icky, so I might keep with that. We could try it. I mean, at the same time, I don't know. It might be good to have a range captain or a range first, whatever. Okay, and then we'll have these level eight shy guys around here. Like, what about this? That's not a formation for us? That stinks. We still have one more slot for something now. So I could make it another melee unit out in front, I just don't know what, or maybe not a melee unit. If it's all flying out in front, then maybe another ranged unit out in front would be good as well. Um, the highest level ranged unit we have beyond all of this would be like a level six shy guy over here. So if that's the case, that's of course an H formation, HP up 5%. That's not too bad, actually. Do that. That might be better. Um, we'll give it a shot. Hope it turns out okay. And get to it. Begin. Maybe I should have used items. I don't know if we had any items, so I don't know. But I'll keep that in mind for next time. We do have Larry Rally. Get ready. I don't know what that does. Let's go, Formation H. All right, HP up 5%. So we got some good benefits going into this. Hopefully these Red Koopas really do need the weakness of the Parabitty Buds, and this isn't just a waste of energy to do that, you know? So far, they, they, they when they do land, it's a critical. Oh, here we go. This is where things get good. Right there, boom, we had a ton of them. Beautiful stuff. We didn't really hit the captain too much, unfortunately. So yeah, Larry Rally, I don't know what we need to do for that, but it's not even activatable just yet. Hmm. Is there three battles? I think there's three, 
battle. So we do have to be careful with how much uh, CP we use here. I'll, I'm just gonna use, be using denies for now. But so far we're getting our butts kicked, so this is really worrisome. And this is why where I get worried, it's like, should I play to these you know little statistics of like, hey, the Prana Plant will be good against him, but then a weakness doesn't match up, you know? And that's where it gets really weird. And I feel like it's, it's almost worth just sort of ignoring it when it comes to advantages like that. I don't know. But I figured I'd try this. I mean, the Prana Plant is beating these dudes up, so that's a good sign. And now it's just, we get, once we get rid of him, now it's two range versus two flying. So as long as we can survive. So there is the Larry Rally we could do here, but I feel like we need to wait until we're on a stronger pinch, because right now, I think things will turn out okay. Because we can keep beating them up. We have really good strength over you know this one unit. They aren't even able to like attack too much here. And one more, got it. See, that's all I really needed to see. Victory, perfect, defeated all nine enemies, so we get some extra experience there, which is always good to see. And some CP has been restored. Oh, it's only one more, so definitely do a rally. Let's do it right now. Come on, get fired up. So if we can get some extra stuff going on, that'd be really good. We still have one more CP for a deny. Um, and I really wanna just throw that there. That still didn't hit the captain though, that stinks. Oh, I didn't press the button there. Um, oh no, we're fine. Oh ho ho, so that did some good damage against some of the Parabitty Buds. But the problem is they don't land very often. Oh, I didn't see them doing a move. I mean, I don't know if I could have denied a rally. I don't think I can. It'd be really cool if I could. There's nine versus eight here. Things are getting a little nasty, so we can deny one of those. We denied three of them, so that's actually a pretty good deal. They're still beating us up. Ooh, that hurt. Come on, it's seven to six. Can we turn that around a little bit? The Piranha Plant is just now starting to take damage, which is a good sign, because he, he can definitely do some work on the trees. Excellent. Ooh, that was really good. This is why we need more Piranha Plants. I don't know if we redo levels. Do we get more minions that way? Oh, I probably should deny that one. I don't have any CP left, Never mind. Um. Okay, you guys do what you gotta do then, because I can't really do much about it. But we're all ranged now, taking them on. So that's some really good advantages. Even if some of us get taken out. So I wanna try the Larry Rally, and now's my chance. Oh, I got a tape, tape, tape. I didn't, I've never done that before, so that was new. Here goes nothing. What is this gonna do? Hey. Whoa, that was super cool. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Good job, I really like that. Some of the new mechanics are really fun in this one. Like a lot of people were upset with Bowser Jr.'s journey because they were just like, oh, it's just Bowser's minions, but just with different characters. But so far, the, the stuff they've improved has made it really a lot more fun. Not to say it wasn't fun before, <laughs> this place is crawling with weaklings. Pathetic, it's such a cakewalk. Yeah, right, if, if, if we weren't here, little Lord Junior would be for forest fertilizer by now. What did you say? Hey, Roy Underling, I heard that. Ooh, is that this little brat mad at me? I'm shaking in my shell. You're the only one who thinks you're tough, kid. To me, you're just a one Bowser. Watch it, buddy. If you keep this up, I'll, I'll, I'll tell dad. Go right ahead. I've had enough. You're selfish and rude, that's my thing. I'd rather explain myself to Lord Bowser than put up with you a second longer. I heard that too. Roy, stop. Let's all just calm down. She's right, Roy, don't let the kid get to you. But on the down low, I feel the same way. Ugh, grow a spine, Larry. He only cares about himself. He'll never appreciate or respect us. I'm over it, work it out, kid. Uh, who needs you anyway? Uh-oh. What's the deal, Morton? Explain yourself. Don't tell me you're siding with that baby. Oh, hold me back, I mean, let me at him. Whatever. Wendy, Larry, I'm bailing on this plan and, th and this kid. Best of luck to you guys, you'll need it. See ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. Yikes. Well, there's one less Koopaling. Good riddance, <laughs> I'm outta here. Are we gonna like lose a Koopaling every couple levels? If you flakes wanna flake out on me too, go right ahead. I can do this all by myself. Wow, he's so mean. Looks like they're gonna talk about it. They're all, all a little nervous. First it was Ludwig, now it's Roy. Abandon Bowser Jr. Oh my. So we do get some experience for all of that, and yeah, 
Some good levels and everything. Bowser Jr. learned snack time. Oh, what's snack time? A command that Bowser Jr. can use calls his clown car in with food supplies to restore health to nearby allies. When the clown car is above the trooper you, you wish to heal, press A to lower the snacks. Interesting. And we get a range experience bean. We get a green parabitty bud. That's good. We get a red parabitty bud. Pretty nice stuff there. I like it. So, with that done, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our next one, which is Peril at Bowser's Castle. Huh, interesting. So, I am going to figure that out. I thought that there was one that, hmm. I might go ahead and clear a formation here, just so that I have like an extra slot. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Hold on, I'm not ready. <laughs> clear this, confirm that, and then I just wanna be able to use items. So. We have a melee bean. I think that, like, I, I feel I feel bad for all the stuff I put in the Roy because he just left. That sort of stinks. Um, so I don't know if I should keep putting this stuff in the Koopalings. Maybe it'd be worth putting in the other things. I don't know. If we could like dismiss some units if we wanted to. Hard to say for now. I will keep putting it into Morton. I don't think Morton's gonna leave us anytime soon. There you go. Morton CP increased by one. We get the range bean as well for this one. I think that we'll go ahead and. Now, I'd like to give it to you, actually. Get you a little bit closer to the level of everybody else. And there we go, that's all we had, so it wasn't too crazy. Taking a look at the details on this one, we do have some new enemies, and I will just go through this to sort of refresh myself a little bit, but there's the melee in the front and the range in the middle every single time, and the, and the melee is always the the uh, captain. So I probably want to keep his melee Bowser Jr. for this one, so I will have to change that. And then we also have the Scutlet, which has Mega Tackle. They normally live quietly in the woods when they rustle about, prepare to be attacked. And then these are weak against fire attacks, which is good, so that we can use um, the, you know, one of our um, fire stalking piranha plants, and that'll be good against both of them, because also, while it, like, it works well against plant-like enemies, which means that it's also plant-like enemies, so one should work well against the other. And then we have a green Koopa, which is weak against bony enemies, which we still don't have any of those. So thinking about this, I definitely want at least one of these, um, Fire stalking piranha plants, they're really the only thing besides like Larry that has fire abilities. So I might make Larry our uh, first in line or whatever it's called. But there we go. Super sniper accuracy 10%, luck 10%. And then beyond that, like it was melee out in front. So we probably want some flying units out in front. So with my flying units, what do I want to do? Let me sort everything just to make sure that it's proper. And then if we could get a couple Koopa paratroopers, I think that'd be good. Like maybe three boos as well? Like boos are really good. And then that's already seven out of nine, which is where it gets a little concerning. I definitely want you. And then there was more melee in the back, right? So maybe we could even do like this dude, which enemy information, I don't need too much. Profile, here we go. They've learned the weakness of the Parabitty Bud, so actually, yeah, he would be really good. That seems like it could be a good formation then. Um, and also gives defense up. So we'll try this and see if it works out. Maybe it's an awful, awful idea, I don't really know. Because there is a lot of range, and we don't really have too much melee here, so it could actually get quite tough. Um, Halt, we can't let you go a step further. Yeesh, this again? Eat this! All right, so everybody's just hopping into it, not too much dialogue this time. Let's get into it. Uh, get ready. So we got the Larry Rally, which hopefully will help us if we need it. Let's go, Formation Giant Shield. I mean, maybe this was a bit of a mistake, because every time was the, there's a melee captain, and I never changed out of range Bowser. Ah, oh, Bowser Jr., I mean. So that was definitely a big mistake. So we got a couple things that maybe we could change around here. Should I do, uh, why'd I just do a late deny? Man, I'm the worst, this is already looking really bad. I feel like I've made a mistake. <laughs> Okay, and good. So at least that was decent. Hmm. Deny that one, there we go. It was something, I've already wasted two CP though. Oof. Yeah, that was not very good. Oh, we're definitely losing this right now. I could try this, this is probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna try the Larry Rally. At least give me some more experience with that. Um. Oh gosh, this is like the Shell Bros move. Which I'm not very good with, <laughs> as you can see. I think we've lost this one. I don't know if it might just be worth it to retreat now. I mean, we could go and see what the tip is at the end of it. 
But yeah, I definitely, like, I tried to play on the weaknesses of everything, and I just feel like sometimes that actually makes it worse. So, it might just be good just to, you know, focus on the, the you know, the rock, paper, scissors, scissors style weaknesses. Okay, so yeah, I don't think we're gonna do so well here, even if I, like, rally this. I mean, I could snack time, I could try that out. I don't know if rallying would be a very good idea. Come on, get fired up, just himself. I said this was all wrong. Um, I could deny it, it just doesn't matter. Because they have the advantage. See, I'm just gonna save ourselves some, a second here. I mean, I don't know, I wanna see what it says for its suggestion. I just wish they would have beat me up sooner. Okay, uh, we'll try this. If I somehow survive, that'd be great, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. Yep, there it goes. Okay, I did what I could. We got defeated, it's fine. Looks like you were up against a lots of melee and ranged enemies. Try putting some flying troopers out in front of your squad, which is what we did, and some melee troopers in the back. So I think I used too many ranged troopers and I just need to, uh, or I mean, maybe too many flying troopers is sort of probably the worst thing. Um, so let's go to our squad formation. Because then we, I mean, I would like to keep him because he de definitely has that advantage. So maybe we could, Unequip some booze here. Like, I don't think it's a problem to have one of the, what's it called? And then maybe, like, while I do like that, I think this would be better. I mean, we could do the flying captain. Let's, let's try Iggy then, because you know, that'll have an advantage over all of the captains. Yeah, it will. So that might be better. And then of course, we need to put Bowser Jr. back to melee for this one. So with this, we still have three more units we could use. It might just be better to use this. And then we'll have the H formation, so we'll get some extra health, all stats up 5%. I don't think Iggy has any abilities, he might. I can't remember. So we'll try this. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better. Only one way to really find out, and that's to get back into it. Okay, so here we go. Bah ha let's go. Formation H, they're in it. Ooh. I don't know though, like, I, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. It's really only one way to find out, but we got destroyed last time, so. We do have super counter. Okay. Ah, oh, two okays and an excellent. Could have been better. That was a little silly of me. But it's melee versus range, which is definitely an advantage. Got it, and got it. Pretty good there to double excellent. Deny that. Maybe I should have done the super counter. I don't know if that's exactly how that works out. So, we might just wanna wait and see. That hurt a little bit of everybody. It's still eight to eight here, though. Ooh, okay, here, there, this is good. Got it, and got it. Still not enough to take you out, though. We are starting to lose our advantage here. Okay, it's six to six, six to four, that's good. Come on, keep going, you guys. Deny that, even though I probably shouldn't have. Come on, come on. Jeez, this is tough. Come on, yeah, go attack your fellow piranha plants. There we go, that was a critical. There's a critical, they just keep criticaling each other. There we go, three to two. And then these guys are weak to fire as well. If we could at least land one point of damage, it'd be great, but no, not gonna happen. Ouch. Come on, come on. Got it. I mean, it might just be good to replace the piranha, like if we do lose this, it might be better to replace a piranha plant with Larry. And why I wanna do that, maybe, is because Larry does have the fire attack as well, but doesn't actually have the weakness to fire like the Prana Plant does. So Prana Plant versus Prana Plant might not work out unless we have more Prana Plants than they do. Got it, very good. I do like that, defeated all nine enemies, experience increased by 5%. Always good to see. And we're gonna keep moving, keep moving. Okay, so a lot more of the same here. I'm tempted to rally everybody up. I think we will. That way we can we can use the super counter next time. Very good. And, oh, okay, he only denied one of them. Uh, Got it. That's some good damage just to start things off a little bit more. Got it, and got it. That's some good stuff there as well. So right now it's nine to nine, but we're getting very close to Changing that around for the better. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Um, deny some of that. So we're down two CP. So I think that's all I wanna do for this fight. And then save the rest for the next one, if we can. Got it, got it, and see ya, Piranha Plant! Now it's eight to five. We're really starting to pull in those advantages, but they're starting to, you know, take some of our units out as well. Getting that critical damage. Nice. Keep going, everybody. Six to three, that's a good sign. I'm not denying it, we just gotta keep going. That does hurt, because melee's good against ranged. 
because there's typing advantages and then there's like special advantages. I feel like I do need to have like some kind of terminology for it, you know? Uh, typing advantages would be, you know, melee, ranged, and flying. But typing advantages are like Piranha Plant having good fire abilities. And I feel like sometimes I try to prioritize those special advantages when I shouldn't. It really should be typing advantages first and then if I can fit in any kind of special advantage, unless it's a, you know, a special weakness. You know, if they have something that's good against my characters, I need to change that out. But if I can fit in something that's good against their characters, that's what I gotta worry about the most. So, let's go ahead and rally up right away and then I'll have one more point for deny. Yikes, poor Piranha Plant. Come on, get fired up! Now's our chance to win. And then, oh, you denied one of them, that's fine. We still got another one. I only did okay there. So I got one deny. Boom, that hit a couple of units there too. And then what do you do? I don't know, I didn't time it very well whatsoever, so. Hey, we need backup! Oh no, you don't. Called for backup? Let's try this, enemy enforcement. It's a, it's a Chumba! Oh, it healed him when he was already full. Lord Junior, who did this to you? Eh, let's say that guy. <laughs> All right, you're gonna pay for that. Ooh, now there's two of me. Ah, I'm still mad. Iggy's power increased. Okay, that's great, good old Iggy. What do you mean there's two of you, by the way? I don't know. Boom, and got it. That was pretty good indeed. So it's six to three here, but it's a Chumba, you know? Like, that guy's big. It's something Bowser would fight. This might be a bit of a problem, but we'll do what we can. We do have the advantages. Oh, there we go, we still do it, nice. And there we have it, we destroyed that Koopa, and all of the enemies defeated, so we get an extra 5% there as well, so that's 10% total for the extra experience. Doing really well, okay. So we got that Koopa taken out, and along with it, hopefully a ton of experience. Wh whoa, where are we? Oh my, it's Lord Junior. He's not happy. Okay, I think Ludwig was right. This is definitely not normal. What is making them attack us and get then get amnesia? Hello, yes, hello, my friends. Are we feeling healthy and fit? And how goes the search for the Skeleton Formula D ingredients? What do you want? Oh, it's her. All I want is for my clients to become their perfect selves. Oh, and I have some info that might be a teensy bit hard to swallow. You know that castle Bowser lives in? I believe it's called Bowser's Castle? Yes, it's definitely under attack. What? Well, I don't mean to alarm you. I'm sure it'll be fine. There were just a few of those spooky UFOs, maybe a Mega Mecha or 20. That sounds familiar. Oh no, I suppose I've un under undersold it. The castle is doomed. Run for your lives, run! Save yourselves and a minion or two while you're at it. All right, she's hysterical, but she we should probably check it out. Yeah, but we're stuck with this with the kid for right now. <sighs> Don't worry about me. I can find the ingredients myself. I didn't want your help anyway. Lord Junior, yeah, I know you're in charge, but even not even your dad talks to us like that. Come on, Wendy, it's not worth it. Let's hurry back to the castle. The kid says he doesn't need us. Let's let, let him prove it. Morton, Iggy, you coming? Morton, stay with Lord Junior. And I will also stay. I'm hungry for carrots. <laughs> oh dear, don't you friends get along? How sad, how very sad. It's getting a teensy bit tense here, so I'll take my leave. All right, see you, lady. We should go too, come on, Wendy. Yeah, let's go. Lord Junior, you sure you're okay? You're still talking? Oh, get out of here. All right, you heard the boy. Good luck, guys. Oh, what's Morton doing? He can't decide. He's coming with us, luckily. So what are they going to do? Oh, they might get into trouble, because she's not a good character, I'm guessing. She seems to be, you know, like, hanging on the side of Fawful, from what we've seen. Oh, should I have told them about the castles under Lord Fawful's control? Oopsie. So what does that mean? Do we even run into the Koopalings during the main series? Like the main Bowser's Inside Story? I know we did for uh, Superstar Saga, I think. 
Oh my, yeah, we saw this cutscene before. In Bowser's Inside Story, they all attacked the castle. Oh no. Well now we get to relive it. Everybody taking it down, and then rebuilding it back up in their image. I mean, not really, it sort of stays visually the same. So I don't even know why they really attacked it then. Weird. Okay, well. Any remaining minions should already have joined our Fawful by now, which means those fools will be defeated by their own friends. Ha! Ooh, I wish I could watch it all go down. Ah, uh, it was so easy. What a wimpy little castle to com commandeer. They just fell right for our plan. Oh, excuse me, I'll just lure all those tough guys out here and leave your base defenseless. Ha! Now we can take out the Koopalings and Bowser Jr. at our leisure. I'm sure our meaty friend Beef has already dispensed with Ludwig. Yes, everything is falling into place, and I'm feeling absolutely no side effects from those homemade energy pills. Wee! Oh, that oh, that is a good one. Now let us give Lord Fawful the full report. Off they go. It's weird that they can just teleport around like that. Wendy and Larry left. We're really diminishing our team here. But look at that, we get ourselves some more level ups. Very, very good. We're squad level eight. Bowser Jr's level 10, we get a flying and melee experience beans. Very cool, so we got another fire stock in Pranapon, which is actually really good. I wanna build up a little army of those guys. We got the green Koopa Troopa. Another green Koopa Troopa level 10 plus that time. That's always good to see. And yeah, there's still one more battle left to do in today's episode. It looks like it's gonna be Dimblewood. Get the Giga Carrot. Oh yeah, let's not forget about that. So there's a whole mixture of units here, but it's mostly flying that we have to, not flying, range that we have to deal with. So definitely we want to be melee, uh, Bowser Jr. And then we also have to mess with our scarred formation a little bit beyond that. But let's take out the Goomba. We go to soldiers, nothing too crazy about that. Para Goombas though, Goombas who soar the sky with grace, with a spin they can do a cranium crush. So not really too much new here. Um, I think that we will use some of the, yeah, I definitely think we will use another Piranha Plant. So if I go down, there should be another one chilling out over here. We can line them up like that if it wasn't for the fact that I need to get rid of some units here. So for right now, let's go ahead and clear everything out. Just like that. Double check this again. So we need to probably have a melee member here. I mean, Morton crushes defense 15% and HP 5%. Like that could be pretty good. And then definitely some flying units when it hurt. Maybe something like that. I mean, we don't want too many flying units. Actually, we really don't want many at all. I think that for right now, I mean, there are some Parabitty Buds out in front. So what was good against Parabitty Buds? I think it was red ground Koopas, right? Um, if we take a look at their profile. Yep, Parabitty Buds weakness. So I didn't want to move you, actually. I wanted to keep you where you were. We'll just do this for now. I might end up changing this, but actually no. Hmm, hard to say. I think I might actually want them out in front so they can focus on the pair of bitty buds. Cause that seemed to work out pretty decently well before. So like that. And then we still have room for five more units. So we can figure something out here, right? We definitely need a lot of melee to take on that range. So I definitely think that we need to work on more stuff. Like the profile for the Koopa Troopas, they're weak against bony enemies. There aren't too many bony enemies around here. We want the Prana Plants though. So not out in front though, probably farther in the back if not anything else. So something like this might be good. And then also you, you also have, they've learned the weakness of the Parabitty Buds. So maybe have you back there. It seems like a really bit of a, like a bit of a harebrained scheme we got going on, but it might end up working out. And then we have one more slot. I don't know if we should use it for that then. This is a lot of range, so as much melee muscle as we can get, you know? Maybe something like that would be good then. And then if we also confirm that, I'm gonna go ahead and go to our items, because we do have two melee beans, and I wanna use those as much as I can on Morton, just like that. And then we also have the flying bean, which I guess I'll use on our buddy here. And there we go, that got him to level up. Very good, it's gonna give him some extra stats, so always good to see. And we can try this and hope it turns out okay. I'm gonna take like one last look at it. If the only real issue is that there's some melee units out in front almost every time. Mmm. This might be a silly idea. Hold on. Um. But what if I did that? 
That might be good. It might not be, but it might also be good. You never, you never know, really. Okay, so let's get to it. Morton protects small Bowser. <laughs> small Bowser. Let's go, Formation H. And we do have the shield, which I would like to protect, or you know, keep it for now. We do have snack time as well. I don't think we need any of that. And let's see how this wait. Oh, these aren't Parabitty Buds at all. They're flying Goombas. So we just gotta hope that Parabitty Buds show up at some point, but right now it's a little bit of a worry. Um, I might wanna rally through this one then, just so I can get through it. Come on, get fired up. And maybe that would help a little bit. Oh, you denied one of them, that's fine, it happens. Okay, we got an excellent amount of damage there. We're not in the lead for right now, but I feel like that can turn around if we just keep attacking. Got it, so now it's six to eight. Come on, just keep going, guys. Mystery box, uh-oh, what are you guys gonna get? It is ally defense down. Oh, well, we're the allies, so. Come on. I timed that very badly. I didn't really know what was going on. I timed it better, it would have been, probably turned out a lot better too. Come on, come on. Boom, that was pretty good actually. Come on, Morton. Get rid of this guy, I guess. So we're definitely a little overwhelmed here, but it's two of us against two ranged units, so that could end up turning out pretty well. I feel like if we can get past this one, things will turn out well. Our two of us against four ranged units, I think I said two. You know what I mean. Like, we could definitely win here. We could definitely win. Come on, keep going. Yes, okay, so we weren't able to get rid of all of the units, but we were able to win, and that's what's big. Um, so if I could, this round, not use any CP, that might be a good idea. Even though I got, did I get plus two CP there? I think I did, maybe. So this one still doesn't have the pair of bitty butts. Did I misread that? I swear that they were there. All right, well, I'll deny that. Probably not a good idea to deny one Goomba. All right, I'll deny that as well. So now I don't have enough for a rally. It's a bit scary. Yikes. I can't deny that. Why, they, they, I guess they have all their things going on right now. Probably would have just been better to rally as well. Okay, here we go. No. Oh, well. Ready. Got it. That was at least some damage. Right now we're at a disadvantage, but I feel like we can work it into something. Oh, there goes a Koopa. It's six to six now. So yeah, we're actually doing okay, I feel. Got it. And then what are you gonna do? Nice, okay, excellent stuff right there. And, oh, it's so close. Oh, that's good, that's good. It's five to five, so we're like all tied up here. Leave that guy alone, come on. Oh no. Oh, this is scary. So if we get rid of this one melee unit though, then once again we have that advantage that we had last time. So just work on getting rid of that Goomba, please. I, I can't deny this right now. I need to save some more CP for the final round. All right then. Boom, that was beautiful. It didn't attack anybody behind him though, unfortunately. Maybe Morton can attack soon? There we go. It'd be cool if he could do a special, but he's not going to. That attacked both of them, so that's good. I didn't mean to do that, dang it. I did not mean to do that. All right, well that gets rid of him. We only have one CP left, so hopefully we do get plus two. Cause I thought we only got plus one, but I might be wrong. We do get plus two, okay, good. So I might just rally for this final battle, just like right away, and see if we if we can get rid of some of them right away. And this is what we've had advantages for, is for these pair of bitty buds. So we should be able to deal with them with critical damage and make it just like no problem. So if we can get rid of the things that, you know, aren't critical against, you know, relatively easily. That was denied, but that's fine. Only having like one thing be denied out of all that isn't so bad. So we're getting lucky. It's seven to eight though. Ooh, it's a rally. Maybe I should have waited for them to rally so we could counter it with our own rally. I don't know. This is where things get a little nasty. We do have the lead for now just by one unit. What are you doing now? Mystery box, come on, how much CP do you have? We still have Morton Shield as well. Ow. So that was not good. Um, Five to five, it's still all tied up here. Oh boy, it's scary. Um, that was good, there goes a Goomba, it's four to four now. Hopefully soon we can do uh, Morton's shield. Leave my, oh come on, leave it alone. There we go, that was excellent. Whenever we can do the shield, right now. Let's try it out, let's see what this ends up being like. Morton protect. And then maybe you could just beat some dudes up this way. It'll at least make the fight last a little longer. I wonder if this would work better if 
uh, Bowser Jr. was ranged? Would he still be able to attack behind Morton? I don't know. What are you doing? There we go, there's the defense up. That's what I sort of was looking for. I got this, get out of here. Okay, so we can't deny that or anything. I think we should be fine. Hopefully, boom, there it is. Awesome stuff, and the victory. Very cool, so that should be every level done in uh, Nimblewood or wherever we are. I forget the name of it constantly. I'm happy with that one. So we got the big giga carrot, here it is. Is this before or after Bowser ate it? Look at that, that carrot's huge, this is it, I found the giga carrot. Martin, Iggy, get your lazy shells over here. I order you to um carry this thing. Uh-oh, they can't, can they? It's too big. I mean, Martin might try. Uh-uh. <laughs> hmm, looks heavy. So what? Oh, I have a great idea. Ah, uh -uh. chomp, yoink. What'd he do? You got the Giga Carrot. All right, well, we have a piece of the Giga Carrot. Where to next? More to not know. I don't know either. Too bad we couldn't ask Ludwig, Roy, Larry, or Wendy. Bahaha. <laughs> not funny, clown. I don't need those clowns. Lord Bowser, you're missing this. Where are you? If you're not here, say not here. Is that Kamek? Yep, it is. Hi. Did you find us? Aha! Young master, where is everyone? They left. Kamek joined as a minion, nice! Okay, that's great. And so, young Bowser Jr. had already driven away many of his allies. Of course, I couldn't blame them for leaving, given his behavior. Who's talking? Who is the narrator? And while I may have been tempted to abandon him as well, I clung on to hope that he'd come to understand things in time. Maybe it's Kamek. I guess so. Either that or I, I don't think it's gonna be Morton or Icky. They don't seem like they're like they talk that way. Anyways, we get some experience for a couple of units there. Getting the level up. We got the HP beans, flying experience beans, S, HP drumstick, and the spirit drumstick. Very cool. Recruited new eyes, Kamek. Bowser Jr.'s attentive caretaker flies about on a broom, shooting off powerful attacks. Very cool. And then we got a Goomba, we got a para Goomba, and we get a para Betty Bud Red and received 100 excellent ratings, very cool. Okay, so with that done, we have finished up this world, which is excellent stuff. And it, where does it want me to go now? It wants me to go over that way. Uh, this is what, Cavi Cape. So we're gonna be worrying about going to Cavi Cape in the next episode. We made some good progress through Dimblewood, that's what it's called. And hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series. It's been an interesting one so far. I really am enjoying it, so, so hopefully it doesn't get too much more difficult than Bowser's Minions was because that was just way too tough for me. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Bowser Jr.'s Journey. If you watched this point of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Carrot, so you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.